So in today's video, I got you guys with the top five meta loadouts that you should be using in Warzone right now. We just had the new season four reloaded update. So I figured it was a good time to give you guys my updated top five best loadouts. Before we jump into that, I want to shout out these three people for commenting on my last video. If you guys would ever want to shout out in a future video, man, make sure you hit that subscribe button and then go down below and comment your opinions of the video. Like I said, I got you guys my updated top five meta loadouts today and let's get into it. So I'm going to start you guys off with my absolute favorite loadout in Warzone right now, which is going to be the XM4 Assault Rifle from Cold War and the Wellgun SMG from Vanguard. After the new Season 4 update, the NZ-41 got a bit of a nerf, and I believe that's going to make the XM4 the overall meta assault rifle now. And the Wellgun is going to be a great SMG for you guys to use because the Mark 05 and the Blixen from Vanguard did both get nerfed. So I believe oh. the Wellgun is going to be another top SMG again. And as for this specific loadout, guys, you can mix and match loadouts throughout the video. You don't have to use my exact guns together. But overall, I just had a ton of fun using this loadout, and I think you guys would as well. And we're going to go ahead and jump into my loadout for these two guns right now. So I'm going to quickly build you guys the XM4 I recommend you guys use. First off, you're going to want Agency Suppressor for your muzzle. Then for the barrel, you want the 13.7 Ranger. Next up for the optic, make sure you guys throw in the Axial Arms 3X. For our underbarrel, we're going to be using the Field Agent Grip for horizontal and vertical recoil control. Next up, we have the magazine, the 45 round mag. That's going to be my recommended XM4 build. Now for the Wellgun loadout, which was the secondary on this class, we're going to be using the recoil booster. Next up, we have the SA Shrouded Barrel. Optic is going to be Slate Reflector. For the stock, make sure you guys throw in the remove stock for the movement and ADS speed. Underbarrel is going to be Mark VI Skeletal for even more movement and ADS speed. Next up, we have the Gorenko 40 round mag. Ammunition is going to be frangible for the wounding effect. Rear grip, we're using tape grip for even more movement speed and sprint to fire speed. Perk 1 is going to be fleet, and perk 2 is going to be quick. That's going to be my well gun loadout, and let's go ahead and get into the next class that I've got for you guys. So for the next loadout, I got you guys with a classic assault rifle, which is going to be the Modern Warfare M13. And we are going to match this with the Cold War OTS-9 submachine gun. The Modern Warfare M13 actually did get a buff in the most recent update, which is awesome. I'm glad they're deciding to buff some of the older guns and mix up the meta a little bit. Overall, you guys already know, man, the Modern Warfare M13 has super low recoil and a lot of range. I would say this is going to be another top five assault rifle after the buff. Using this gun today, it definitely did feel oh like it was God. doing more damage than before. So like I said, man, I'm super hyped that they're buffing some of the older guns. Let me know what you guys think, man. How do you guys feel about them buffing old Modern Warfare guns? I would definitely recommend you guys use the M13 again, man, because it is another great option. And as for the Cold War OTS-9, this is still a meta SMG in my books, man. This gun has been great ever since it was added into Warzone. The mobility on the OTS-9 is one of the best out of any SMG in the entire game. This is one of the OG movement guns that you can hit so many fire clips with. I would definitely recommend you guys throw back on the OTS-9 if you haven't used it lately. Because it definitely feels like it's still competing in the meta. I was having a ton of fun using it today. And this is going to be another great loadout that you guys can definitely use. And we're going to go ahead and jump into my builds for these guns right now. So on this loadout, we had the Modern Warfare M13. And my recommended loadout is going to be the Monolithic Suppressor. For the barrel, we want the Tempest Marksman for the damage range. Optic is going to be the VLK 3X. And really quickly, before I give you guys the rest of the M13, man, if you don't yet, make sure you guys go down below and follow my Twitch, man. All of my YouTube videos and all of these gameplays come directly from my streams. So if you guys do enjoy the videos, man, make sure you guys go drop a follow on the Twitch. Come say what's up. I would love to see you guys in the chat, man. We always have a good time on Twitch. So next up for the M13, you want the Commando Foregrip Underbarrel. And for the magazine, you want the 60-round mag. That is going to be my recommended M13 loadout. And the secondary on this class was the OTS-9. And my recommended build is going to be the GRU Suppressor for your muzzle. For the laser, make sure you guys throw on Tiger Team Spotlight for the movement speed. Next up for the stock, make sure you guys throw on No Stock for the sprint to fire time. Underbarrel is going to be Bruiser Grip for the movement speed and hip fire accuracy. And then lastly, you want the VDV 40 round fast mag. That is going to be my OTS 9 build. And let's go ahead and jump into the next class that I've got for you guys. 
And for the next loadout, I got you guys with the NZ41 and the Blixen from Vanguard. Now, I know technically these guns did get nerfed in the new update, but after using them today, I really didn't notice any difference. If anything, maybe it's one or two extra bullets to kill, but I would definitely say this is still a meta loadout. So if you guys have been rocking the NZ41 and the Blixen for a little while, I would recommend you guys keep doing that. You're not going to notice much of a difference after the new update, even though they technically did get nerfed. And if you guys don't have the NZ41 and the Blixen leveled up and you were thinking about doing that, I would recommend you guys still level them up even after the nerfs because they are still both very, very good. And as for the NZ41, man, I would say it's still a top oh, three man. AR in Warzone regardless of the nerf. And let's go ahead and hop into my builds for these guns right now. So for my recommended NZ41 build, you're going to want the Mercury Silencer Muzzle. Barrel is going to be the Orb Weaver 360 BC. For the Optic, we're going to be using the SVT 3-6X. Stock is going to be the Orb Weaver E-Pack for the recoil control. Underbarrel, make sure you guys throw on the M19 Strife angled for even more horizontal recoil control. We're going to be using the 8mm 40 round mags. Ammunition is going to be lengthened for the extra bullet velocity. Rear grip, you're going to want to put on hatch grip for the vertical and horizontal recoil control. Perk 1 is going to be brace for the firing recoil. And then perk 2 is going to be fully loaded. That's going to be the recommended NZ41 build. Now for my Blixen loadout, which was the secondary on this class, we're going to use the recoil booster. For the barrel, we're going to use the 17F3 Bergstrom barrel. Next up for the optic, we're going to use slate reflector. For the stock, we had the remove stock for the movement and ADS speed. Under barrel, you want the SG98 compact for the aim walking move speed. For the magazine, make sure you guys throw in the Gorenko 54 for the extra headshot damage. For the ammunition, we're using hollow point for extra limb damage. Rear grip is going to be tape grip for the aiming stability and movement speed. Perk 1 is going to be fleet for the movement speed and weapon swap quickness. And perk 2 is going to be quick. That's going to be my Blixen build. And let's go ahead and hop into the next loadout that I've got for you guys. And for the next loadout, I got you guys with another one of my personal favorite loadouts in Warzone right now, which is going to be the Cold War AK-47 and the Cold War MP5. The Cold War AK-47 is one of the best assault rifles in Warzone right now. The super fast time to kill and the low recoil makes this gun super fun to use. And it also has insane mobility for an assault rifle. I would definitely throw the AK-47 in the top 5 ARs right now after the new Season 4 update. I would highly suggest you guys rock the AK, man, because it is a ton of fun to use. We were having a lot of fun with this loadout today. And like I said, man, the Cold War MP5 is going to be a great secondary for you guys now. The Cold War MP5 actually did get a buff in the most recent update, and it feels really strong, man. After the new update, I would say the Cold War MP5 is definitely back in the top Those five MP5. SMGs. I'm really glad they decided to buff some of the older SMGs and mix up the meta here, because it feels really cards. refreshing. Let's go ahead and jump into my loadout for both of Never these mind. guns right now. Let's go. So for my recommended AK-47 build, guys, you want to put on the GRU suppressor for your muzzle. For the barrel, you want the 20-inch Spetsnaz RPK, definitely the best barrel on the AK. For the optic, make sure you guys throw on the Axial Arms 3X. Under barrel is going to be the Bruiser Grip for the extra movement speed. And the magazine is going to be the 45 round. That's going to be my recommended AK build. And now for my Cold War MP5 loadout, make sure you guys throw on the Agency Suppressor. Then you're going to want to go to Stock. Throw on the SAS Combat Stock for the movement speed and ADS speed. For the Under Barrel, make sure you guys throw on the Bruiser Grip for the movement and hip fire accuracy. Next up, we have the Stanag 50 round drum mag. And lastly, for the Rear Grip, make sure you guys throw on the Serpent Wrap. That's going to be my recommended Cold War MP5. And let's go ahead and get into the next loadout that I've got for you guys. And for my next loadout, I got you guys the STG and the Marco 5 from Vanguard. Both of these guns are a top meta weapon in each of their categories. The STG has super low recoil and insane mobility for an assault rifle. And as for the Marco 5, man, the mobility on this gun is one of the best in the entire game. I would highly recommend you guys pair these two guns together. But like I said earlier, man, you can mix and match guns from different loadouts. But I would highly recommend these two guns together, man, because they are definitely broken. This is easily one of the best loadouts in Warzone right now. You guys are going to be frying your rebirth lobbies with this loadout. And if you guys haven't leveled up the Marco 5 yet and you were thinking about doing it but heard about a nerf, I would definitely recommend you guys still do it because it is definitely still just as good. 
I'm going to build you guys the STG that I recommend, which is going to be recoil booster on the muzzle. For the barrel, make sure you guys throw in the 760.05B barrel. Optic is going to be G16 2.5. For the stock, you want the weighted stock for the accuracy, flinch resistance, and recoil control. Next up for the underbarrel, we have the M19 hand stop for the horizontal and vertical recoil. Next up, we have the Gorenko 50 round mags. Ammunition on this is going to be lengthened for the extra bullet velocity. Rear grip, we have polymer grip for the flinch resistance and accuracy and recoil. Perk 1 is going to be acrobatic for the movement and sprint to fire speed. And perk 2 is going to be fully loaded. That's going to be my recommended STG build. Now to get into my recommended Marco 5 build, I suggest you guys use recoil booster on your muzzle. You're going to want to use the 240 mm VL barrel for the extra fire rate. Optic, of course, is going to be slate reflector. For the stock, make sure you guys throw in the FR stock for the ADS and movement speed. Underbarrel is going to be the M19 Strife Angled for the horizontal recoil control. Magazine throw in the Nambu 64 round mag. Ammunition is going to be subsonic for the no minimap ping. This is really good on the Marco 5. Rear grip is going to be tape grip for the extra movement and sprint speed. Perk 1 is going to be frenzy for the health regen. Definitely make sure you guys use frenzy. And then perk 2 is going to be quick. That's going to be my recommended Marco 5 build, and let's go ahead and get into the next loadout. So I decided to give you guys a few extra loadouts at the end of the video, just in case you want to try out some other guns. First off, we have the Car 98 for Modern Warfare. This is going to be my recommended loadout for that. I know a lot of you guys like to snipe, and I didn't put a sniper earlier in the video. So I recommend you guys use the Car 98, man, and this is going to be the meta build for that. And another great sniper that you guys can use, man, is the Swiss K31. My recommended build for that is on screen right now. If you guys want to try this out, man, I highly recommend you guys do if you are someone that enjoys sniping. And for the final loadout of today's video, I got you guys the MP40, man. The MP40 got a little bit of a buff in the most recent update, so I recommend you guys try it out again. This is going to be my recommended build for the MP40 on screen right now. And this is going to be the final loadout I have for you guys today, man. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like. And as always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next one, man. Peace.